do you mind if companies share your personal information? So a very warm welcome to the programme. It's a packed one as ever, so let's get cracking. Starting with a landmark ruling a few weeks ago, the European Court of Justice struck down a data sharing convention that allowed an easy transfer of personal information from Europe to the United States. Now, that agreement was known as Safe Harbour, and after the revelations over spying by Edward Snowden, the US servers were no longer deemed safe for European data. Now, a group of businesses are calling for urgent action as thousands of firms are facing what they call serious disruption without any replacement uh, framework. And to complicate matters even further, the US government saying it's still using safe harbour arrangements, which could mean further legal challenges from Europe. Victoria. Now, one of the business leaders that signed a letter to the European Parliament is John Higgins, the Director General of Digital Europe. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, why did you lend your name to this letter? Well, first of all, it wasn't to the Parliament, uh, Victoria. It was to the European Commission and specifically to the President of the European Commission. In your introduction, I think you used the word chaos, and uh, yesterday, one of my colleagues uh, in the meeting with the commissioners used the word nightmare for businesses. So I think it's our responsibility to make sure that the policymakers here in Brussels really understand the problems that this is causing for business right now. Uh, but uh, some of the bigger businesses, things like Google, Facebook, they presumably already have workaround solutions in place. It's easy to, to think of companies like that when we think about Safe Harbour, but it's not just technology businesses, it's not just American businesses, and it's not just a consumer issue. I mean, uh, it's worth uh, checking whether the BBC uses Safe Harbour to uh, uh, facilitate this easy transfer. I mean, uh, you employ people in the US, you follow the US campaigns, you undoubtedly do business with people uh, in the US. You and many other businesses will have been uh, relying on this mechanism to uh, transfer information across the Atlantic to facilitate the businesses that we're all engaged in. So uh, it's affecting thousands of businesses and thousands of small European businesses too. Uh, but how do you go about best managing things like personal identity and all the data associated with that? Can there ever be something that you can really realistically call a safe harbour when it comes to data protection? Well, we, we all rely on um, organisations to look after our information all the time, don't we? You know, lots of our banks, our, our car companies, I mean, people have information about them and we... We, ha we have a, a deal with them that they will look after it and protect it. Um, why would that be any different uh, for companies based on the, the geography? So uh, I, I think we, yes, it is possible. And uh, companies put a lot of effort in protecting the information because they're very well aware of the uh, damage to their uh, image, um, to their reputation that can be done uh, if they don't. So yes, companies do pay attention to it. Uh, could you not describe the ECJ ruling as a blessing in disguise? Because if we manage to get a better agreement out of this for consumers, that's going to be better for businesses too. Um, I don't think I would describe it as a blessing in disguise, no. Uh, I, th I think what needs to happen now is that the, uh, the European Commission um, needs to provide ad solid advice and guidance to businesses to, as to what to do now. My advice to, would be to people to check what mechanisms they're using to transfer data. Don't panic. Uh, wait until the Commission or your local data protection authority uh, produces some advice for you over the course of the next few weeks, we hope. We really do want the Commission to treat this with urgency and, and seriousness. So wait and get that advice. And in the meantime, uh, don't wait for what you describe as a blessing in disguise the Commission, but press on with the US government to get something that replaces Safe Harbour, that uh, you know, does do the job that we need doing. Mm, I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot more about this, so thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.
And as ever with that kind of story, the devil is in the detail when it comes to legal matters. There's a lot more detail for you online on the BBC pages and others, I'm sure. Let's have a look at some other stories, starting with the latest...